What is up, guys? We are back for another episode of The Quarry. How are y'all doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. <laughs> In the last video, we did get into some drama. <laughs> we were supposed to get ready for a little bonfire party, and everyone went their separate ways to, you know, get supplies, get things ready. And then we finally got to our bonfire, started playing Truth the Dare. And, you know, people kiss other people that shouldn't be kissing them. And, you know, <laughs> already the group is split up now, which is never a good idea in these horror games, in these horror stories. <laughs> so, of course, Abby left because she was hurt that her friend Emma kissed Nick. And Jacob was also pissed that Emma kissed Nick. And so, he also went off <laughs> and Nick and Emma went to go follow their respective parties. And then Caitlin, Dylan and Ryan are still at the bonfire. So we're off to a great start. I remember seeing the hunters there. I was assuming that they were trying to keep a watch on all of them, hoping that they would all stay together. But of course, now that they're all separated, it's not making their job any easier <laughs> because I'm assuming they are hunting the werewolves. But of course, if they're all separated, it's going to be hard to keep track of, you know, who is OK and everything. But we still don't know anything about who they are. Besides that, while playing Dylan, we did find out that Mr. Hackett has a little secret. I mean, besides the secret sex dungeon, he does have a secret room with surveillance cameras out uh on the trails now not knowing that this is about werewolves it makes sense as a camp counselor or you know a leader that he is trying to protect the kids to make sure that if anyone gets lost or if there are any creatures out there that can come onto camp he is prepared for that but I obviously think that he has those camera out to track the werewolves. He has to know because there was one in his storm cellar. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to come up. I'm pretty sure we are going to start getting into some crazy stuff. <laughs> getting into the, the fun horror aspects of this game. So, I'm excited. <laughs> I will try to record two chapters today. If it doesn't happen, I will record them both on two sittings and put them in one video so it's longer than the last video. But I am excited, so we shall get into it. Oh, this song again. Trouble in Paradise. Yeah, we are getting into, ex into the exciting part. Abigail! Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? <laughs> I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? Oh, that's the worst! Oh, it always happens. These characters end up going into the middle of the woods at night and then they get lost. Like, okay, which way do I go? Hold on, let me check. Uh, okay, Shady Glade. Shady Glade, one of many woodland walks through Hackett's Quarry, is so named due to the canopy of tall trees that grow there. The dirt path through the floral under... Oh, sorry, it's so hard to read. <laughs> uh, floral undergrowth makes for a serene, atmospheric walk through nature. Oh. Love that fire pit. <laughs> Relax and unwind with a single long by the fire pit. Situated right on the picturesque lakeside, it's the perfect place to catch up with your bunkmates after a hard day's hacketeering. It would have been better to sing Kumbaya instead of the whole <laughs> truth or dare. <laughs> 
playing with fire. There's an update. Oh, okay. I don't even remember if I saw that last time. <gasps> I hate this when there's like different options of where to go. Like, where do I go? <laughs> I don't want to get lost, man. Wait. Wait, should I check first the other way in case? Oh my gosh. The hair is in the back of her neck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll go the other way. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this way. Let's go this way. Why, why did it zoom? <gasps> Oh my gosh! What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, these camera works! <laughs> Wait, you're making me... Wait, it's confusing me. Why does it keep moving around like that? I'm getting lost. <laughs> I'm getting... Do I keep going this way? Oh my gosh, it's so dark, I cannot see. What is this? Is that a trail cam? Oh! Is that one of Mr. Hackett's, uh... A trail camera hidden in the tree, sec a security measure, perhaps? Or maybe they're tracking something. Trail cameras around the camp are controlled by Chris Hackett from a secret room in his office. It's like he's looking for something. Um... I swear I'm going to get lost. Is there... Okay. Is there something else? Oh, Abby, you're crazy. Even I'm freaked out by this. <laughs> I'm... I'm nervous. Is she gonna be the first victim? I... Mm. Mm. Man, the way these cameras moved around, I... I can't even tell if I've been to some areas. Hold on. Was that an evidence or was that a clue? That was a clue. Trail camera. Am I missing something? Where is that? Wait, do I go that way or can I go this way first? Is there something on this side?
Oh, is this where I started? Oh my gosh. Okay, I went full circle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're kind of lost. Nick! <laughs> Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm I don't care how annoyed Nick! I am at you. <laughs> hey. Hey. Um. Hi. <laughs> you, uh. You ran off. No kidding, Sherlock. I swear, these songs are so good. Too much smoke, let's be honest. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. Not to mention, I did notice when I was editing the last video that he was actually puckering up <laughs> and getting ready for Emma to kiss him. I don't know if that's like an issue with the graphics, but it really looked like he was, he was ready. <laughs> um. Be direct. I know she's not really the direct type. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, 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 no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. Uh, mm -hmm. I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. Fine. Uh. <laughs> he better be. <laughs> Do they hear it? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Should we look? Are we finally gonna see it? They just quietly walked away. <laughs> Does not sound like it. Really? Is it a bear? It's too far. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> oh gosh. Sit in the background! 
Too. I'm sure that they can climb really fast. Can we hide somewhere? Oh crap, oh crap. Oh crap! Is there anywhere to hide? Oh, Jacob. And it's cutting me so deep. Half a close. Now, oh, is he crying? Oh, Jacob. Man, he really loves her, doesn't he? That has to be love. Aw. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. Of course. That's kind of endearing. <sighs> Sleeping down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... <sighs> you just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you do, I can't believe you the, You fucking Frenched him! <laughs> you know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! French, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. That's like... Why would you say that to him? You you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing. Never mind. Was he... like? Hey, that's mine. ...going to ask yeah, her well, to be in a relationship? Keepers. I'm getting it back tomorrow. Fine. 
You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Oh, God. Or <laughs> you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. <laughs> What was that? Oh, is that the rotor arm? Wait, can I? Oh, the star is hopeful. Oh, it's the star, stars in the night sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star when it comes clarity. Oh, uh, with it comes clarity and sometimes proof. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, can we talk to her? Hold on. Found her? No. I guess you're gonna get all cold and trivially, aren't you? Well, just give me a minute. Look upstairs. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's get to searching around here. See what we can find. Is that a. Did I hear a crow? Oh, whoa, can I actually... I cannot see. Can I actually walk around? Or no, it... it... What is this? <sighs> Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. She's still wet. Hmm. Oh my gosh, is Abby going to turn? She did get bitten, didn't she? Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. What is this? Newspaper. Four hmm. months north. Not long ago. Oh! North Kill Gazette. A recent newspaper article about two hikers who went missing in these woods. As of the date of publication, they haven't been found. That must be the guy that's in the water. Oh! And it's also. their backpacks. In Mr. Hackett's office. Wait, no, it wasn't in the office. It was in the storage room. Wait, is there an update? Hold on. This one. Hmm. The boathouse has everything you need to take to the water and experience the true beauty of Lake Sep Septimus. Water sports have always been a favorite activity among campers, so grab a boat, row to the island, and see what you can find. Disclaimer, no swimming without supervision. Mm-hmm. 
Abby came to Nick's aid when he was attacked in the woods. Wonder if it was near here. <laughs> it was. Is there anything on this side? No? Okay. What is that on the floor? I can't get to it. Oh, is that just chips? Chip bag? What is eerie music? Check it and thack it, huh? Oh, well, check it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thackett? Oh, he has a, uh, brother. A faded camp photograph from the 1970s. According to the names printed below, two of the boys in the picture appear to be Hackett's. So Chris Hackett has a brother, uh, T. Hackett. Ooh, so we don't know yet who that is. Which one is Chris? Is it the younger one or the... Okay, I would assume that it's Chris is the younger one. So he has an older brother. Okay, T. Hackett. Need to keep an eye out for uh, someone with a first name starting with T. Wow, kids be littering. So annoying. <laughs> so annoying. Y'all need to learn to pick up after yourselves. I cannot tell if this goes... Holy cow, is it dark. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Hold on, I forgot that Nick also got bitten. <laughs> They're both going to turn? Holy cow! Oh my gosh, I am not off to a great start. <laughs> I'm already getting people bitten. No towels? There's no towels! None? There's exactly zero. You dick. <laughs> what the hell? Really? Get back down here, Jacob. Hmm. What are these numbers? Dates. Wait, what did it say? Boathouse logbook. Manageable but unsustainable. Sailing rules. Reminder for counselors. Keep all boats rinsed after use. Be vigilant. No swimming. Properly store boats to avoid damage. All campers must wear life jackets. If boats capsize, remove kids from lake immediately. Do not jump in after them sail over and retrieve from water what does the first part mean manageable but unsustainable No swimming without supervision. Okay. Whoa. 
Was there something there? Something up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. No. You gotta trust that gut. <laughs> something wrong. Okay, how many of them are there? I wonder if one of them is Max. How many of them would there be? Is Silas still around? Okay, I think that was everything. Okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or and you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can because you see, oh, help! Help! I'm I'm drowning and I I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be enthusiastic. Okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Shake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, yeah, that side of Jacob cold. is nice. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake. <laughs> Admit it, you liked it. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, quit it! Oh, stop being a drunk! I'm not going to do it. So gonna bring her down. <laughs> Dick move. <laughs> Sent I don't want this to end. No, let's flirt. Okay, hey, look, <clears throat> check this out. Uh, okay. <sighs> Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your, uh, like, um, legs, subscribers. Legs wide open. Top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Uh, oh, so I get nine more? <laughs> Spread eagle and everything. That is so funny. I guess she was like, nope. <laughs> Did she just... Huh? Did she just swim away? Oh, shit. No! Oh! oh gotta be fucking kidding Why me. did you jump in there? Oh my gosh. No, we gotta get it. I'm sorry. I, well, Abby should be fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jacob? Ugh. Girl, I thought you swam away. <gasps> I thought she swam away. <laughs> Oh no! Oh crap! I should have gone to go. Ab oh, I should have gone to get Abby. First of all, how can you see? 
it's pretty much in the middle of the night. Underwater. But realistically, you can't see that. <laughs> Evidence. Sweet. And go cool. Let's let's be calm and detangle. Oh, oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Shit. Okay. Hold on, I need to check the menu. That was an evidence. What? Oh, crap. Island. The island in the lake was once just an unex unexcavated uh, section of the central quarry. It now stands as a pillar of what is of what it means to be a hacketeer, adventure, wilderness, and individuality. Is that where the tree house is? Lake Septimus, once the beating heart of the quarry, Lake Septimus uh, was named after Septimus Hackett. <laughs> For some reason, I was going to say Septimus Prime. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who made the decision to foreclose and flood the quarry, paving the way for the beautiful return to nature we see today. Disclaimer, no swimming without supervision. Bloated corpse, a bloated decomposing corpse chained to the bottom of the lake. Wait, why is it bloating? Oh, update. The body in the lake looks like it could- oh, I was right! It could be one of those missing hikers. Someone was clearly trying to hide it. Don't tell me it's Chris Hackett. Don't tell me it's Chris Hackett. Because the bags were in his, uh, storm. I mean, storage room. The rotor arm fell out of Jacob's pocket when he was swimming in the lake. Jacob chose to dive in to the lake in search of the rotor arm. Jacob got his hand caught when grabbing the rotor arm. Oh no. Jacob narrowly escaped drowning. Rotor arm is, oh, it's lost forever. Oh, what was the point? <laughs> Emma noticed Jacob wearing her missing silver bracelet. So I guess if either of them gets bitten, then they can't be infected with the silver bracelet, right? Okay. Who are we playing now? Ryan. Oh, they're still there. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Is that supposed to mean that he's going hey, to turn into a beast? That cute, preppy, aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. Steel barbecue grill. So you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? Well, he's got abs of steel. <laughs> yeah, just the three of us. All right, Dylan. Truth or? I, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. I don't think Dylan wants to. Abby! Help! 
Please! Nick! Help him! Uh, worried. Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! You should do it. No. I got this. Okay. I got this. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh... Uh, wait. What am I looking for? Settings? What was the... That, that, uh, thing that happened while I was playing as Abby? Uh, running away from the werewolf. When that X appeared, I'm assuming that I have to smash it, like just keep continuously pressing it. It didn't have any tutorial on that. That's why I was confused. Okay. Okay, let's go. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. My arm is also... Oh crap! Okay... No, we gotta take the shortcut. At least the QTEs are intuitive. Ah, this, this. I guess I keep pressing. Shortcut! Is he gonna kill him? Hey! Get the fuck off of him! Stop! Stop! I'll see. Should I? Should I? Uh... You're there to help us. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. He did that to stop the infection. Holy shit, dude. Gotta get. Gotta get. We're gonna go. Can we walk? Can. Come on. Gotta go. Come on. Let's get back to the fire. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's. Nick is going to change. Jacob. Stupid. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> I 
hope there are... Fuck. Oh my gosh, I am just thinking about oh, if there are traps out there, like a, a bear trap or something. There's a half-naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? I hope he doesn't step in a bear trap or something. Oh, that's going to suck. Oh no, it's the boar? <gasps> oh damn, mama boar died. <laughs> No. Be careful where you step. Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. Please do not hurt yourself. Oh. 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 Okay, at least it was that and not a bear trap. <laughs> oh. Can we get out? <laughs> <sighs> Shit! <laughs> Fuck! Uh, in this position, I would not be threatening him. <laughs> oh, please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, this was from the fortune teller. I hope he doesn't kill him. Oh, thank you. Gosh. Son of a bitch. What are you doing? Shh. Quiet. No. He just helped us. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Uh. Help. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? Uh. Strong, good. Oh. Where are you off to now, girly? Girly? Oh man, oh crap. What the fuck? What the fuck? <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> ha! Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, Trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Okay, so I think he, they are, well... So they are helping us. But I think knowing that Nick got bitten, he was ready to kill Nick. Uh, maybe they are watching over them to prevent any more people getting infected so no one else gets uh, turned into a werewolf. Okay, let us see more. Man. Oh, 
Emma's next. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, gosh. I will do as much as I can of this chapter. Hopefully I can finish it. That is horrible. It was... It it was I, I i don't even know what it was it was so fast and and there was a uh, there was a hunter and it was just oh abby here what oh try drawing drawing what oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you okay. <laughs> 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 Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell me what those guys did to you? It wasn't a guy. Rush did. He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the, the hunter. Uh, yeah. There was a guy. There was something else. Some kind of animal. What? Uh, Kind of animal. No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. He's probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. But he couldn't have done that. Yeah. Unless he had yeah. some weapons. I mean, yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think she was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. No, uh, oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh, uh, so, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, You're okay. It's okay. Mm, fuck that. Hat. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. I think what? he's been infected a little too long already. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? <laughs> oh, gosh. I remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. Is that one of the hunters? Or maybe it's one of the others? Fall out? Sure. Hey! You got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Don't say sort of! <laughs> Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Oh, we don't know. Be careful. We don't know who it is. I am not going to shoot. We do not know. We do not know. But can we see? It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now. Yeah. Don't shoot, don't shoot! Oh my gosh, Jacob! I'm gonna save you. Could have at least said something. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Uh, 
Ah, uh, uh, I let's let's be questioning because it, I'm sure it looks weird that he's got blood all over his face, right? So wait, what happened to you? Right, right. Okay, so like I was saying, okay, I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could, from the lake. Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like. I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? Hunters? I told you it was hunters. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop! So I'm hanging there, <laughs> half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lot. Wait, he's missing right now. a lot in the story. Oh, uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude. It's, it's the like same guy. Story. No. Ew. Yeah. Oh, Wait. <laughs> Should have said the hunter? Oh, it, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like... <laughs> A dead one? Yes. Oh no, 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 no. Um one of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice and it was Yes, a dead one, dumbass. <laughs> of course you did, Jacob. No, for real. I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was like all all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. They don't believe him? I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get! Oh my gosh, please don't play with the gun. Oh my god, I was so scared that- Oh my gosh, I was so scared. <laughs> Fucking stop! The gun was gonna you're go off. Mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea. Hold on. Okay, let's see this really quickly. Ryan raced through the forest in the in time to see Nick being dragged away by a hunter. Ryan didn't shoot at the hunter. Ryan witnessed the hunter shoot his fingers off. I'm kind of uh bummed that I messed up at the QTE because I did point it in the right direction, but now I'm like, <laughs> is it going to, oh my gosh. Okay, distraction. Safe hunting kids, remember the golden rule of hunting, never distract a hunter, never make assumptions on what you see, and never become the prey. Jacob didn't distract the hunter. The hunter poured blood over Jacob's face. Ryan heard a rustling in the bushes, but didn't shoot. Aw, oh, man, I would have killed Jacob if I did. Okay, let's see what Tanae brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool... <laughs> One thumb. One available thumb. Okay. 
<laughs> and it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Let's do that again. <laughs> That's me, like, in the in intros of my video. <laughs> I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island, all alone, with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back, because I don't. But even if I did... I can't, because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Oh, <laughs> explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. To the treehouse. Ooh, new spot. Okay, wait, is there... Oh, there's nothing on the treehouse. Hold on. There wouldn't be anything here, right? Okay, let's let's go back. Oh my gosh, the controlling the camera is kind of <laughs> with the flashlight. Ah, uh, not see. What is... Can I go in here? No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Ew. <laughs> oh. oh, please, God, no. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. <laughs> Okay. Anything. Let's see. Hopefully we could find, like, a weapon or something that could protect us. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. Because the content is not... I think I've made my point. <laughs> okay. Wait, can we... So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Oh my gosh, was Pretty that cool, a squirrel? Huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just <gasps> kind of like float in the middle of the water. Kind of like I love bit. deer. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. That is... Here's the big question. Do I... Take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. <gasps> is that a hunter behind her? Y'all, that was a hunter. I was gonna say... I, the fact that she was like sharing all of that to her viewers. Ah, mm. uh, that's not cool. I do want to go to the tree house, but can I search first? 
Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now, anyway. Well, and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess... I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Mm-hmm. Using that confidence to hide how she's really feeling, to mask it, as she said earlier. <laughs> Wearing a mask. I hope this is not a bad idea. <laughs> is my curiosity gonna get me killed? But you know, if there's something around here that I could use, oh my gosh, it really is so hard to see. This is actually kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. Let's be reflective. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years, we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70-year-old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Walker sex. Only time will tell, Jakey boy, and as they say, time makes fools of us all but we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. I will have to end it soon, but I could play just for a bit longer. Okay. There's something here. What is this? Hmm. Is that a little fire pit? Think about it. How could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? What is that? Box the Raven Nevermore. Harbinger Hotel, North Kill, North Kill, New York State. You'll wish you stopped by. Well done. We gotta see that. Oop. Uh, that. A box of matches from the Harbinger Motel. A few matchsticks have been snapped off and there are marks on the striking surface. Why is this one marked? Are we underneath the treehouse?
Wait, before I climb up, let me just check around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, is that as far as it goes? I can't go around. Oh my gosh, it's so dark, guys. It's so dark. Okay, let's see. That light over there. I cannot tell. Is that where we came from? All right. I will have to end it. So, you will see me back in a few seconds, and I'll go go on in to the uh, treehouse. Alrighty, guys. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> so, I had started editing the first part of this video, and the little figure that I originally thought was the hunter is actually the Hag of Hagatori. <laughs> I was like, ooh, she is coming to, uh, come after you. And also this, because it was so dark and I couldn't see, I didn't realize that this was just recently lit, the fireplace. So that means someone is here. And since it says Harbinger Motel, I wonder if I wonder if the cop, the cop can either be here or something. I don't know. But uh, before we go up there, I actually just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Yeah, it was really dark for me to see last time, so. Ooh, that music, man. I think the quarry did a good job of making really creepy music. <laughs> um, don't remember if I actually came down here. I cannot... I cannot tell. Aren't you, Jacob? Oh, he's gone. <sighs> Would that be the other, um... Oh, <gasps> the magician! Okay, I'm so happy I came back. <laughs> um... I wonder if that's the other hunter, the older man, the magician, the incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical sensational. Ah, <sighs> perceptive manipulation, the work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it, and you wouldn't want to miss it. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Ah, I'm nervous! I remembered the last, uh... Fortune teller. Emma... Most likely is going to come across the, uh, werewolf. That means it's going to be in the treehouse. <sighs> I really don't want to go. <laughs> but I guess we gotta. 
Maybe we'll just take a look up this way. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I feel the anxiety coming. Because <laughs> I know it's coming. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. If only Jacob did not steal the rotor arm, we would all be safe at home. <laughs> ah, okay. Where is it that I would have gone up? This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard, it won't know what hit it. <laughs> First, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. Jacob's problem. I hope. Let's be compassionate. Think about your friend. He's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. <laughs> it's cool though, they're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. So her and Caitlin thought the same. <laughs> oh. oh, and I remember, oh gosh. I believe Jacob saw something through the binoculars and there was something there. It's a were a wall. Oh, is this what I will? Woo! Is that the zip line? Okay. keys police car keys i think this may be one of those i'm sorry officer i've what is he here these keys belong to the north kill police department what are they doing all the way out here on the island in the tree house at hackett's quarry The gears are working in my head. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of all the scenarios of why the cop is there. Do we know his name? Imagine if he's the brother. Is he a Hackett? Or is he a werewolf? No. Is he with the hunters? So confused. No idea <sighs> what you're talking about situations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those right there. Is he in there? Yeah, I don't wanna go in. <laughs> Nah. 
Okay. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. <laughs> Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? The cop! But I don't recognize this. The... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? Oh, she knows. <laughs> She knows exactly what happened. <laughs> do I want to live or do I want to die? We are searching the bags. <laughs> Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some- Oh my on. gosh. This is all you're getting. We know that's a bad idea. <laughs> you never open the trap door. Yo, my heart is pounding. <laughs> I'm nervous. Jeez. Oh, at least we have something. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. No. No, Emma! Are you crazy? Bye, cool world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Oh. oh my gosh! Taser! <gasps> Photo! Yes! Now get out of there! like one of the characters from Teen Wolf. <laughs> I forgot what his name was. Was it Boyd? Do we have spray? Oh, okay. Good. Gosh. Trap door. Go, 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 go! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No. No, no sorry. I'm just. I'm really hungry. Ooh. Inside, okay? Ooh, he's transforming. Ooh, you could see. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck. I had granola. Okay, I was gonna say I clicked it. Okay. Strength, strength. 
can be surprising. Knowing, knowing one's own raw power, tapping into previously unknown energy, I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand, it gives, and with the other, it could rip away. Oh, and look at that, it's, it's a wolf. Yeah, usually with the strength card, it's often a woman depicted with a lion and not a werewolf or a wolf. Okay, wait, we also got evidence. A blurry close-up photo of Emma being attacked at the treehouse. <gasps> okay. Treehouse. Holy cow. Built by camp leader Chris Hackett himself, our state-of-the-art treehouse has a focus on safety as well as fun. So I'd venture to the island, climb up to the treehouse, and take a look at what's inside. You won't regret it. I think the cop might be his brother. Because why else would his keys be there? He also had, I'm guessing that was his bag with the taser and the bear spray. Um, but why would he be there? And then also the Harbinger Motel um, matches. So he must have been there. Maybe he went out, that could have been him, uh, across the lake that Emma saw, the binoculars, that could be him, or it could be the older hunter. Um, now, I definitely believe that the cop is somehow connected to all of this because just with the prologue, uh, him knowing that something was going to happen to Max and Laura and him warning them to go to Harbinger Motel. And of course, I don't know, it just seems he knows too much, right? So he could be related to Chris Hackett. He could be a Hackett. Now, I wonder if those hunters... I wonder if that's who uh, Chris Hackett was talking to on the phone because he was supposed to get them off of the camp site, right? Uh, by the end of the day, that never happened. And after he left, that is when we were introduced to these hunters. And so they are keeping a watch out on the kids, I guess. Uh, make sure no one gets attacked or gets transformed. So I wonder if all of them are related. Like, is it a whole family thing? Or are they just working together? Uh, Chris Hackett, the police, and the two hunters. I don't know. Wait, how many uh, tarot did we just find? Was it two or three? Two, right? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Mm-hmm. Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I, uh... Hmm. Do you think it has their scent? He does seem like the more cautious. I mean, just from observing him when Abby screamed and Nick was there. I'm going to go with cautious. 
since that seems like more his uh I don't know if I should go with the opposite. <laughs> Why is this so hard? I hope they're gonna be okay. I think it has to let's go with cautious. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I mean, I, it's... I doubt it. I just it's a reasonable... Like with them were sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It could go through the, uh, the fireplace. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. Well, I mean, you the fire is on, though. Night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Hag of Haggard's Quarry! Where are you going? Oh, he's following the voice. I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. So what is the purpose of the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? What is she doing? I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Oh, they are worse than what you think. <laughs> you don't know that. It's true you don't know that, but... I guess I'll, I'll go with hopeful. Try to turn things around. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We got a call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Uh, okay, then 911. 911. Who says 911? <laughs> I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Both? Uh. Okay. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> okay. What's wrong? Oh no. It was cut. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? Uh-huh. It's a coincidence. Suspicious. No. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Hang-up thingy. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? <laughs> Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. <laughs> Dilla is great. Okay, so this I like him. No go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. 
Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. No. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't want to be aggressive though. Well, I mean, uh, what's his name? Ryan has one. Hold on, let me think about this. Let's go with calm. I don't want to be aggressive, but also knowing that Ryan has a gun, I think it's okay. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> probably the weather. What weather? What weather? <laughs> maybe, maybe it was the Oh bears. gosh. What bears? Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh cut, cut the, our phone yes. on and just cut out all the power? What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. <laughs> Gosh. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaked. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. He's ready. He is ready. Oh, my God. <laughs> we should probably leave that with Caitlin. <laughs> that is so funny. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? <laughs> like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, <laughs> man. Oh, uh, God. I'll give it because Ryan has one. Uh, all right. And plus, You're she right. she seems to do really yeah, well with a gun. Well, mine. She knows what she's doing. You're extra nice to me. I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. <laughs> My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> I'm sure it's fun having banters with Dylan. And I interrupted something? Oh, was that a little hint of jealousy? You know, sometimes you can't really tell if she does have feelings for Ryan or not. <laughs> Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Dylan is the best. <laughs> I like him. Oh god. It's so funny. Oh my gosh, we are <laughs> we're not done with her. Oh, she's still there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The zip line. Holy cow. That was the one that she <laughs> she didn't want to go on. Oh crap! Ah, uh, I'm gonna reel slowly so it doesn't make too much noise. I hope I didn't just mess up. Oh crap, oh crap. No. No. Mm-mm. Oh 
Oh crap! Oh crap! Did I mess up? <gasps> oh! Oh! Look at it! Oh! Oh my god! Ah! Did you see that? <laughs> Doesn't work. Well, she seems pretty calm right there. <laughs> that was like a badass move. My gosh. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> She's getting more excited time each again, time she sees us. Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician! The incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? <gasps> okay, sure. Choose one. Choose wisely. Oh. Mm. Let's go with the magician. Let's see if it shows anything about manipulation. Oh, no. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. <gasps> Remember who's looking out for you. Does that mean that? What was that? <laughs> oh, we're gonna play as Nick. Okay, does that mean that Dylan is going to get bitten, and in order to stop the infection, we have to cut off his arm? Oh, crap. <laughs> Why? All right, guys, I am ending it. Today was so chaotic, and I loved it. <laughs> we had Nick get attacked. Abby got attacked. <laughs> um, Emma. Oh my gosh, barely survived. Jacob also almost drowned. Oh my goodness, and it's only the start. <laughs> yes, already I have a few theories that I just spoke about throughout the video, but we now know that Chris Hackett has a brother and now after finding the clues at the Treehouse, I am assuming that the police is the older brother. I don't know what his name is. If we saw it or if he said what his name was in the prologue, I don't remember. But if it begins with a T, then that's definitely confirmed. Um, I am assuming that, you know, his Hackett, the police, and the two hunters, they can either be related 
it's a whole family or they are working with each other. Um, I honestly don't know where Chris Hackett is in all of this. He just ran off and I don't know. I would have assumed that he would, you know, help out the hunters or something. I don't know. Yes, I am looking forward to that, to learning more about these characters. Um, I did say before that I believe Max is still alive, so he is most likely a werewolf. I wonder if we came across him, if one of the werewolves that we saw is him. I don't know how many there are. And I'm curious if Silas still lives. Um, I'm also really curious on the Hag of Hecate's Quarry. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the woman, the fortune teller, but I don't know what her goal is. Is she trying to manipulate us as a player? Didn't um, Ryan say through the podcast that she's the mother of Silas, right? I'm just, you know, really curious why she pops up every now and then in the background and why she's calling out to these uh, characters. Why is she talking to them, calling them out? Like, what is she trying to do? Uh, yes, <laughs> I'm assuming Nick is going to be transforming soon. He's already feeling hungry. Uh, and it also looked like in the last scene that he stopped bleeding because he's starting to heal and get stronger and transform. Uh, but yes, he wasn't all bloody. <laughs> and he's also feeling really hungry. So I feel like he's going to transform. Now I'm pretty sure I got Abby bitten as well. I wonder if she's going to transform as well soon. I don't know if you can save them after they've been bit. I know with the case of most werewolf films, if you kill the original uh, predator, it helps to cure the others that were infected afterwards. It's similar with uh, vampires as well. If you kill the first vampire that started uh, the line of other vampires, you can cure them. So I wonder if that's the case with this one. So, I don't know who the original werewolf would be, but I wonder if we kill them, are we going to be able to heal or save uh, the ones that were bitten? Ooh, I'm excited to learn more about the story. It's really intriguing. I am so interested in how everyone is connected. Yes, I did enjoy the jump scares, especially in the beginning with Abby. <laughs> Those really got me. <laughs> uh, the characters. I do, I really do like them. Uh, I was really entertained by Jacob and Dylan in this episode. So I don't dislike Emma as much as I did last episode. I do understand how her character is. I was just seeing that moment from Abby's perspective since I've had experience like that. And yes, yeah, so that was my initial reaction. But she definitely seems like a go with the flow uh, character. She's pretty detached. She doesn't really let her emotions influence her. So she really detaches herself from, you know, connections sometimes. And it seems like she's more focused on just having fun and experiencing life. But yeah, honestly, I actually really prefer these characters over Until Dawn. <laughs> um, yeah, put me in a room with Dylan and Jacob and I would be laughing nonstop, I think. <laughs> they were fun. I like them. Dylan is great. He's probably my favorite. <laughs> I like him. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen now. I'm hoping we get more on the Hunters in the next episode. 
But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I had so much fun. And I shall catch you guys in the next one. Bye!